Hey, hey, hey. Hope you guys enjoyed that last video, man. I want to take this time and welcome you guys to another moment of Key Moments. <clears throat> Don't forget, like and share and subscribe to the channel. Share it on all your social media platforms. I definitely appreciate the support of those who have been watching and those who are supporting your boy, man. What a journey. What a journey, man. <clears throat> today, today, I want to talk about sometimes we can be in a hurry. And I hear people sometimes will say, you know, just go with the flow or trust the process. So I want to talk about today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't rush the process, but trust the process. Man, sometimes when you're in a difficult situation, like we're in a hurry and we don't understand that sometimes it's cool to just slow down and trust the process. Go with the flow. You know, I remember like when kids, we would take trips and sometimes there would be long rides. And me, I would sleep a lot and I would miss the scenery of the trip. But I would wake up in time sometimes just before we got to the destination to take in what is being shown, what is being seen, the different scenery, the different landmarks. And so you appreciate the trip when you look at the different things along the way before you get to the destination. Like you're not in a hurry, you usually take your time, you go with the traffic flow and you just enjoy it. Same thing with like cooking. Uh oh, I'm about to hit it with some people that know how to cook. When you cook a good meal, it takes time. Like, especially when you cook from scratch. I know a few people, shout out, y'all know who y'all are, that y'all cook from scratch, and it takes time. And that thing takes a little bit longer to cook. But once it gets to the end, like, it's worth the wait. Like, it's worth the wait, the hard work. You you know what I mean? You make that homemade chili, that homemade chicken noodle soup, that beef stew, like you chop up the real vegetables. You want to buy frozen vegetables, put it in there. No, you really chop up real vegetables, peel them potatoes. You chop them carrots up, chop that celery up, get that meat, throw it in the crock pot. Ooh, making it from scratch, peach cobbler from scratch. It takes a minute, but once you go through that process, it's worth it at the end. So I'm going to help you today. I'm going to help me today. Don't rush the process, but trust the process. Process, that word means a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Or it also means to change or preserve something. Here go some keys that's going to help you endure the process. First thing you need to realize is that everyone will have to go through the process of something difficult. This ain't nothing new in life. Like Life is not perfect. Life is not going to always be fair. But you have to understand you are not the only one that's going to experience difficulties, that's going to experience some storms, that's going to experience some challenges in your life. You're not the only one. Like You're not the only one that's going through uh, relationship issues. You're not the only one who's lost their job or dealing with financial difficulties. You're not the only one with kids wilding out. You're not the only one with a spouse that gets on your nerves. You're not the only one with your boo thing getting on your nerves. You're not the only one. You're not the only one that has the baby crying in the middle of the night. You have to get up. You're not the only one that has a single parent, single mom, single dad. You're not the only one went through a divorce. You're not the only one that's went through a separation. You're not the only one that uh, feels judged or criticized. You're not the only one. And when you realize, and I realized going through a difficult season in my life that I was not alone, it gave me a little bit more hope, a little bit more confidence, a little bit more endurance to trust the process. Even though I didn't see the end yet, it still gave me hope to say, hey, I'm not the only one going through that. Like I see somebody else. I see another man. I see another dad going through that. And it helped me realize I'm not alone. Good friend of mine uh, once told me that you're not the only one that's going through this right now. You're not alone. You're not alone. So remember, trust the process. Like you're, you're not the only one. Everyone has to go through that. Number two, you got to decide to keep moving forward. Sometimes when we're in storms and difficulties in life, we tend to sit there on miserable avenue. Whoa, it's me. Victim Boulevard. Or we, we stand there and just moat and cry instead of deciding, hey, this is what's happening. 
what do I need to do? What's the steps? What's my plan? And move forward. Some people have, I'm going to trust God to help me move forward. Some people, family. Some people, they use different hobbies. They use different goals. They use dreams. They use their careers. They use their children to help fuel them to move forward. But you have to decide to move forward. Number three, it's okay doing the, the process as you progress. Look back to see how far you have progressed. It's it's okay. Some people say you shouldn't look back and you shouldn't look back. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. But sometimes it's cool to look back just to see how far you've progressed. Because then you can look back at the victories that you achieved along the way. Like, this ain't the first difficult season of your life. This ain't the first time this has happened to you. And you've seen that you came out of it before. And God has done it before. He's going to do it again and again. So, let your memory be a friend of your faith to remind you this ain't the first time you've been here. This ain't the first time, and it may not be the last difficult thing. Matter of fact, I can tell you it ain't going to be the last difficult thing that you face. You're going to have more difficulties. But you got to remember, remember, this will give you the faith and confidence to keep progressing. When you see you making step from step one, and you made it to step four, and then you got step ten, yeah, it's cool to say, dang, I used to be on one, then I went to four, and now I'm on ten. That should give you the faith and confidence. Keep producing. Keep progressing. Number four. You this ooh, this was tough for me. And I'm sure it's tough for some of you guys out there. Everyone can't go where you're going. Yeah, during these difficult times, you're gonna realize everyone can't go where you're going. And I've realized and experienced this in the time I've been on this earth is that there's two type of people you're going to encounter in your life, or there's two type of people that may be in your crew now. And you have to, you have to discern the two. I'm going to help you. There's either riders or journeymen. There's a distinct difference. I'm reminded I used to catch the bus back in the day before I was able to afford a car. And on the bus, the bus has riders and the bus has bus stops and the riders get off at different bus stops at different destinations. And then I realized that, okay, they're just riding to get to where they're trying to go. But then you have uh, this thing called journeymen and journeymen are with you for life. These are people, they are hard to find, but they're with you through the journey. So like riders are with you usually when you're high or they're with you when they can get something from you or they're with you when it's all good in the hood and everything's sunny. Your journeyman, they with you when it's sunny too. And they with you when it's all, you're all, I'm on a new level. They with you there too. But riders tend to disappear when the weather gets bad. They tend to disappear when things get difficult. They tend to disappear when you do things a particular way and they may not agree with it. Those are your riders. Like, oh, I was riding with you as long as you was doing this and then you decided to do this. Uh, I, I I, can't go with that. But journeymen are like, hey, bro, I'm with you when you're high. Hey, sis, I'm with you when you're high. Oh, you hit it hard or low. I still got your back. Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, sis, how you doing? I still got you. I'm still praying for you. I'm going to still encourage you. I'm going to still be there. I'm going to still call you. I'm going to still text you. That's the journey, man. They're for life. That no matter what type of weather is in your life, they're not fair weather friends. Like, they dare for the long haul. You know what I mean? You have to decide and discern who are your riders and who are your journeymen. It's very important as you progress and go through the process because the riders can either hinder you and hold you or your journeymen can help you. Ah, say that again. You got to realize who is helping you or who's hindering you. I'm, I'm moving along. Point five, the process will make you wiser and stronger. You should gain some wisdom as you're going through this difficult season. You should learn something. 
you know, um, there's an old saying that uh, if you don't learn the lesson, you will have to repeat the lesson. So if you are going through this, you need to realize there's a lesson to be learned. There's some wisdom, some experience to be gained from this. And then it should make you mentally stronger, physically stronger, depending on what you're going through. It should make you wiser and stronger. Number six, others will be blessed by your testimony from your test. Your process in going through this is not just for you. There's somebody that you're going to bless that you don't even know. There's somebody you're going to bless that you may not even see. Most of our testimonies are put on display, not just by words, but people see you and how you act and how you progress. Especially if they're close to you, they see how you dealt with your storm. They see how stronger you got. They see how uh, wiser you got. And it may be an encouragement to someone see you went through a, uh, a layoff. Someone see you went through a foreclosure. Someone see you go through a repo, a divorce, or separation. They seen you move forward. That's a blessing to them to say, man, dang, if she made it through that, he made it through that, damn, I got a shot. Like, others will be blessed by your testimony. I told you, I told you, number seven, you got to lose or cut some things off in order to soar and speed towards your destiny. I said this before about planes on a uh, former podcast I used to do that planes have a weight limit and they check the weight limit of the plane before it's able to take off. If the plane is overweight, they got to unload some stuff. They may have to unload some luggage, some passengers. But either way, in order for the plane to take off and go to its altitude and reach its destination, it has to meet the weight limit. You got to make sure you're not carrying extra weight because it will weigh you down and slow you down from reaching your destiny. I'm telling you, you're going to have to cut some stuff. You may even have to cut some family off. Some church folks off. Some relationships off. I'm being real with you. <laughs> some hobbies off. Spending habits off. So that you can reach your destination. There's nothing wrong with that. You can't take everything with you. You got to lose and cut some stuff off number eight here's the blessing here here's the shout you got to thank god for the good and the bad because you got a track record to show you it would still work out in your favor the enemy might have meant it for bad but god is going to use it for your good there's always good on the other side of the storm there's always good on the other side of bad you just got to believe that I'm telling you, stay encouraged. It's going to work in your favor. It may look foggy. It may look cloudy. But when I last checked, after thunderstorms, after a storm, there's always a rainbow. And the sun always comes back out and shines. So keep moving forward. Keep pressing through. Don't rush the process. Learn what you need to learn. Gain experience, man. Gain knowledge. Gain wisdom. And just trust the process. Trust it. This has been a blessing to you, man. Definitely like and share this, man. Appreciate the support. Share it on all your social uh, media platforms. Subscribe to the channel, man. I appreciate the support that I've been receiving. You know, it's still fairly new, gaining steam. But it's not about the numbers for me. It's just about being a blessing. And because I'm blessed. I just want to be a blessing. Um, until next time, you guys uh, take care. Thank you guys for tuning in another moment of key moments. And remember, you're blessed to be a blessing. Deuces.